Well, let's go back a little bit farther back. I mean, you were not Hollywood born and bred. And if I, should I say not. <laughs> uh, I, I, talk a little bit about the evolution of, of your arriving in Hollywood and your upbringing and, and how you got to, got to Hollywood. Got to Hollywood. Well, <laughs> uh, I, it all started when I was in the third grade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we were doing Hansel and Gretel, oh and uh, someone forgot their lines, mm -hmm. and I ad-libbed and saved the day, <laughs> and I felt this flush of power. Was, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was a third grader in a play that went up in his or her lines That's that right. made you what you That's are right. today. And so I thought, <laughs> this feels great, you know, I mean, I love that feeling right. and I wanted more of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, throughout school, mm -hmm. um, in junior high and then in high school, mm -hmm. I was in the drama class and I was in the senior play and so on. And we did plays all along mm -hmm. and it was, I just felt this was something I wanted to do. So, right. uh, so when I... And then I went to junior college and mm -hmm. also did plays. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my father's first wife mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, lived in Long Beach. Mm -hmm. And she had always loved my father, really. And mm -hmm. so she was back in, um, uh, in Little Rock once. And she um, looked me up. Mm -hmm. And uh, she knew that I was interested in drama. And she said, well, if you ever want to come to California and have a try. Mm -hmm. uh, she had bathing suit shops on the Strand mm -hmm. in Long Beach. Okay. So she said, I will help you. Mm -hmm. And so that's what happened. Mm -hmm. I came out and... Now what year was this? This was like 1949, okay. right around in there. All right. uh -huh. And uh, she had, uh, because of the, uh, the bathing beauty contest, mm -hmm. she had uh, contact with some talent scouts. Right. So she got me in. We went in to see a talent scout. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, he was very nice to me. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, you'll have to lose your southern accent. And I said, what accent? You know? <laughs> 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 and he said, you should go to a coach. I said, what coach? Mm -hmm. And he gave me the name of Florence Enright. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went to see her. I got an appointment. Mm -hmm. And she worked with for Samuel Goldwyn at that time. Right. She worked for all the people that uh, mm -hmm. Uh, he had under contract in the right. morning there, mm -hmm. and but um, uh, she looked at me and, <clears throat> and she said, um, "I'll take you. You have an alive face." <laughs> so, so <laughs> and you was, still do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, so I worked three days a week as a secretary mm -hmm. and saved up for my so I could go to Florence and write once a week mm -hmm. uh, for my lesson, mm -hmm. and I would ride the bus out. Now at this time, were you living in a small apartment in oh, Hollywood? I lived. I shared an apartment with another uh, another friend, with a girl, right. uh -huh, and uh, and I walked to where I worked mm -hmm. uh, uh, because I didn't have a car then. Sure. So I rode the bus out mm -hmm. to Miss Enright out on Roxbury and Olympic mm -hmm. uh, once a week, mm -hmm. and I uh, would work on what she had given me, mm -hmm. and I would do that, and then she'd give me another assignment, and right. I would come back what? once a week. One thing that's always fascinated me, what was Hollywood like in 1949 as compared to now, <laughs> aside from many, many fewer cars? What, what, was, what was your, I mean, you were, uh, uh, fair to say, a country girl from Little Rock, as you said. So here you are in Hollywood, living in Hollywood. What was your impression of Hollywood then and looking back on it? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, we had the red cars. You rode the you rode the red street cars. Right. And uh, so because I didn't have a car then. Sure, sure. And so uh, and they were very nice. You mm -hmm. know, you could I could get to work that way where mm -hmm. I worked uh, as a secretary. Mm -hmm. And and finally, I lived close enough to walk to work. Right. Uh huh. But uh, and I could ride the red cars. Mm -hmm. I could ride them out to mm -hmm. to study and so on, or sure. or ride partway and then catch a bus. So you didn't need a car. Well, yeah. listen, yeah. you know, we all need, everybody, <laughs> everybody in Los Angeles needs a car, right, but, right, but right. I couldn't afford one yet, right, so, right. but I managed without it. Yeah.